So we have an assignment here called Create a Grocery Calculator. And the point of this assignment is to use, um, to create a class and uh, to create a dictionary and pass values into the dictionary. And uh, also a, a, a part here that's challenging for most people is you have to write an algorithm to, to handle all this stuff. So um, even though this is technically uh, what it's asking you to do is easy, in practice it can be a little bit challenging because of the requirements of the assignment. Okay, so um, let me fix this first real quick. This needs to be... There we go. And, um, Okay, so we have our requirements listed above, and uh, I have my um, my template ready to go. And so the uh, first thing we need to do is create our class. And so I'll be calling mine the grocery list calc, and uh, that's relatively a simple thing to do. Um, I did forget to put the uh, the if main at the bottom here, so I'll I'll add that, and then I'll add the class part. Okay, so on line 25, um, we have the uh, usual little if main, if name equal main thing. And uh, just recall, the, mo the most important thing to remember about this little piece of code is that it tells the compiler where the entry point uh, into the code is. So it's, it's going to send it to line 17 for the, uh, the main function. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm going to do is work on this class list, and then I'll worry about the main stuff later. And so the next thing we need to do here is we need to create a couple of uh, functions in here. One of them is going to be the add to list, so the function that's going to add um, values to the list. And then the second one is going to be the print list, which is uh, going to print it out. So we, we hit both of the requirements of our little, uh, our little application. Okay, so the... Uh, First thing we need to do is my first one's going to be the add to list. So I'm going to go ahead and declare that as a add to list. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, you must include self here so that it knows uh, it can so it, so that it can access itself when I when I pass stuff here. And um, we're going to say grocery list item and price. Okay. Because these are, these are the things that we need to be able to take in and then to work with. Now, this part here is really simple. All we're going to do here is say, um, is we're going to assign the actual value. And so this, this part is going to be really simple. Well, I'll just show you real quick. Okay, so all this did was it uh, took in the, uh, the, uh, those items of above, the grocery list, the items of the price, and then it's going to return the grocery list. And I'll explain why I'm doing that. Okay, so the reason I'm doing this is that we're going to, we're going to pass it the list, and we're going to pass it the item and a price. We're going to add the item and the price into the list, and then we're going to return the list back. And that's so that we all, we're always working with a list that has the new value added to it. And that's all. And yes, all of this can be done in the, in the main when it's called um, I'm just doing it like this to demonstrate how to use a class and how to, and to create some functions. So the, the, the purpose is to learn how to do uh, the main tasks of the assignment, not, not really the, the pragmatic way that we would do this uh, if we were doing it for real. Okay, so having said that, then, uh, that's it. That function's done. It's ready to go. So the next one is going to be the, um, the print list. So well, we need our nicely formatted uh, list to be printed. So let's go ahead and do that, and that's going to be a print list, and here it's, we're only passing it one item, so here it's going to be really, really easy. We're passing it the list. That's all we're doing. We're going to pass the grocery list, um, but there's going to be a lot going on in this function. This one, this function is not, uh, not as simple as the last one, unfortunately. So. The first thing that we need to do with this one is uh, I'm going to need a variable that I'm going to call subtotal because we've got to do some calculations here. And we're going to go ahead and set that to zero right off the top. And the next thing I need to do so that I can iterate through the list once it's returned 
is a, once it's called, is I'm going to need a for loop. So we're going to say for. And that's because we're going to know the number of items that have been entered because we're passing it a, a list. And so that's pretty simple. We're going to look for the item and the price that's in the grocery list. This is our output here. So this is what we get in this function here in the class grocery list calc is we're taking in only one thing and that's going to be the grocery list that is going to be the outcome of this thing. And uh, we're going to have a for loop here because we, we, we need to iterate through the, uh, the paired values in the grocery list. And, uh, and then we're going to print the item and the price. That's really it. So we're saying... Um, grocery list is here. Now we're going to look at the grocery list and we're going to look at the items in the grocery list. And what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to pull out the pairs, the items and the price, and then we're going to print them. So this part here is really, really simple. There's not a lot going on here. In addition to that, though, we're also going to keep track of the subtotal. And the subtotal is basically just saying the subtotal is going to be equal to the subtotal plus the price. And that's it. So it's just, it's basically just the sum. We're, and we're good there. Okay, so now that we have that, we can break out of the for loop. So we're going to get out of the scope of the for loop. And I'm going to go ahead and say um, subtotal here, just so uh, for a little bit of notes. And here, I'm just going to give it a space. That's the easiest way to give it a space in Python. And we're going to say uh, subtotal, so that people know what's going on here. I guess we'll just leave it like that. And um, then we're going to say sub total here, and then we'll do another one of these. Okay, and that's going to print out our subtotal. All right, the next thing we need to do is um, is our total, and so that's pretty simple. Um, it is and it isn't. Here, what we need to do is um, we're going to be formatting because remember one of the requirements is a nicely formatted list. So we're going to go ahead and uh, and do that. Um, this is a little bit of typing, so I'll, I'll just do it real quick. Okay, so the total, all we're saying is that um, we're, we're going to have two decimal places. And we, so we have our little formatting here. And then we're going to format this. And this is going to be a, the subtotal. And, and it's going to be, the subtotal is going to be equal to uh, we're actually calculating total, but we're going to take the subtotal and we are going to add the subtotal times the interest rate. So Florida, the uh, Pasco County tax rate, I think is 7%. So we'll, we'll put that here, 7% of the subtotal plus the subtotal, and that'll give us the actual total cost. And then we're just going to print it out. And so I put that here and then with the total and then just return right between many things as a avoid, uh, avoid function. And so that's really it. Our two functions are created. I think they're pretty um, self-explanatory, but I mean, you can study that, uh, look, look it over. So I, these, these look right, everything's uh, here. Um, I could run this and just make sure we don't have any, uh, any syntax errors. Nothing's gonna happen, of course, I'm not calling these functions yet, but let's go ahead and do that, okay. And so, nothing so far, we're good. All right, so now comes the easy part. Now all we need to do is, uh, is is uh, in our information. So then the first thing we need to do is create our dictionary. So we're going to call ours our grocery uh, list. I don't know what I'm calling the list. I'm just used to that. And it's going to be the dictionary here. And the next thing we need to do is we're going to need to tell the main that we're going to be accessing the uh, the grocery list class. So let's do that. There's, and that's how we do that. Next we're going to access those items. So I'm going to have what's called the grocery list. And it's going to be equal to, this is our dictionary now, we're going to access now the, the class, and we're going to access a function in the class called the add to, which I created below. And I'll, I'll talk about this here in a minute. And uh, 
this part here is a little bit complex. Uh, we're, first of all, we need to pass it the grocery list, and I'll explain why in a moment. So yeah, actually, let me let me uh, type up a couple of these, and then I'll explain. Okay, so what, what we did here um, is I said, okay, we first of all created our dictionary, and it's empty. There's nothing there right now. And the next thing we did is we said, okay, let's take, we're going to be accessing the grocery list calculator class, which is right here. And so that's what this is. And we're going to, we're going to call that calc. So every time we, we reference calc, we're actually referencing this. And the first thing is we're going to say, okay, the grocery list itself that we created this dictionary is going to be equal to the calc uh, class. And we're going to access the function add to list, which is right here. And we're going to pass it the grocery list that's empty. And we're going to pass it these two values, chicken and ten dollars, and uh, and steak and twenty two seventy five. And yes, you could add a whole bunch of things here. This is just for brevity. And uh, we're not returning anything to the main. We're not going to return anything. We're just calling these items. Okay. So this is all happening, but there's no printout really yet because uh, we haven't called the print list function yet. But we can run this just to make sure that there's again no syntax errors, no issues. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we go and no problems, no issues. So everything's good to this point. Okay, so now um, the next thing we need to do is, is actually print this stuff out. And, and this part is just really, really simple. All we're gonna, we're gonna add, we're gonna call the calc again, uh, the calc class again, and we're going to call the print list function. And guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna pass it the grocery list dictionary that we just created. That's it. Okay, so um, the reason that we have to, okay, right here, this is the, the part that can be a little bit complicated. The reason we're passing it the grocery list uh, is, is as part of the uh, one of the arguments is because we need to update this list. If we didn't do that right here in the add to list, if we didn't do that, then it would just it, it would just keep resetting the list, and the only item you would get would be the last item you entered. But for us to have the list that's the same list over and over again. We need to keep passing it, passing the list itself to the uh, to the add list function, so that way we're, it's adding it to the same list. And yes, we could do this all of this up in the main. This is just for uh, to satisfy the uh, the assignment. Okay, so now we've done this part. We should be able to run this and see what happens. And yeah, here you go. So oh, I missed total. I have an error. So I need to fix that. And uh, let me do some troubleshoot. We'll be right back. Okay, so back in the print list right here, I forgot to do the total calculation. So I have the format, but I didn't do anything with it. So uh, yeah, that's a, a simple little thing here. Um, I'll, I'll write this. Okay, on line 50, I wrote the total. So now I did that part. So uh, this is just formatted. Again, the same. It's going to be a float. It's going to be two decimal spaces. And uh, here we go. So we format it, we're passing it, and then to calculate the totals are pretty simple. We're just saying we're going to take the subtotal and we're going to add to that the, the percent again, um, the uh, subtotal um, times seven and then over here. And did I do this part right? This part looks a little bit weird to me. Um, yeah, let's get rid of this. This is just kind of nice leftover relic junk. There we go. Okay, that's clean now. All right, so now I, I think this is ready to go. Let's run this. There we go. Okay, so the chicken is the ten dollars. The steak is the twenty-seven to twenty-two seventy-five. The subtotal is thirty-two seventy-five, and then we add our sales tax, and we have our total, which is thirty-five dollars and four cents. And yes, we could add the dollar signs and make it all pretty, but no, this is good enough. Okay, so that's it. Um, I'll just let you look at the code again. Um, give me, yeah, so, give me assignments here. Um, and here you can see the entire uh, code. So you have the main function. Um, we have the creation of the dictionary. We call the grocery list uh, calc class here. And uh, we access the uh, add to list function and the, and the print list function. We pass it some information. The only, like I said, the only complicated part here is that we're passing the grocery list in itself, and that's just so that we, we're always working with the same list as it adds information to, uh, as it adds items to the list uh, or the dictionary. Um, if we didn't do that, the only thing that would be in that dictionary would be the very last one. So we, we have to pass it itself. And 
And, and yes, there's other solutions to this. This is just one solution. And so that's it. Um, I think it's pretty simple. Hope you enjoyed that.